What's going on everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I'm going to be going for a 12-0 BR run. I'm uh, currently 6-0 on this run. My 9 game reward is Josh Donaldson, and this uh, team's pretty good. I have Tyler O'Neill, Christian Yelich, Carlos Gomez, so a 3 diamond draft with Miguel Cabrera, Gleyber Torres, Marcus Simeon, Steven Vogt, and uh, Christian Villanueva. And we have our common lefty on the mound, uh, Mendez. He's not bad, but uh, yeah, I'm figuring out to do a, a quick montage battle royale gameplay video for you guys i played my last game of ranked seasons at least for mlb the show 18's game cycle and i figured i would try to end off on a nice br run here so there i hit a no doubter with tyler o'neill to start the game off that's always nice uh, especially in a short three inning game you want to get off to an early lead if possible and now we have uh, christian yelich up at the plate he threw one right down the middle and ba that's back to back home runs on back to back pitches so Definitely a great way to start this one off. I felt like I was uh, locked in at the plate. First game back in a couple in a week or so on my first ranked seasons game, a couple videos ago, I was struggling at the plate, but ever since then, I started to hit the ball a little bit. Back to uh, kind of what I was doing before I took a little bit of a break there at, towards the end. But I am looking forward to MLB The Show 19. I'm extremely excited for the game to come out as Stephen Vogt hits another two-run shot there to ex extend the lead to make it 5 nothing. But... Uh, I, I was able to score another run and make it 6-1, to one, but I wanted to include this at bat right here with Tyler O'Neill once again hitting another home run in this game. A uh, two-run shot there. I believe that was in the third inning. Yeah, in the top of the third inning there, making it 8-1. to one. And this opponent was messing around at this point. He brought in Jonathan Axford to finish off as a pinch hitter. He, he brought Jonathan Axford in off the bench to uh, bat there for his pitcher. I was confused, but anyway... Now we're going up against this next opponent who has a really good squad. Bryce Harper, Yasmani Grandal, Bellinger, Troy Tulowitzki, and then that Silver Tripper Jones is amazing. And we're also playing at uh, Arizona's field, Chase Field here, which is my hometown. I'm originally from Arizona. But there Christian Yelich was sending a solo shot. He left in his common pitcher there, and I took advantage. Hit the first pitch that was in the zone, good, good, on a slider. And he still left him in there. Didn't take a mound visit or anything, so I'm looking for a fastball inside, and that's exactly what he throws me there. Carlos Gomez deposits it into left field there, just over the MLB The Show 18 banner. But I uh, really didn't do enjoy Chase Field a lot. I don't really like playing at this field all that much. I did play the majority of my games here earlier on in the season just because it was a dome. I tried to eliminate the win factor, but then I noticed the ball still wasn't carrying quite as well as it does at a minor league field, so I kind of went away from that. But the opponent was not going down without a fight. In the bottom of the third inning, he is able to uh, hit a solo shot with Eric Dames, then another base hit there, lefty-lefty with Bryce Harper. I went ahead and brought in Donnie Hart, who is an amazing lefty, common left-handed bat. And here I should have just went and got the out. I tried to still turn the double play. He went for a hit and run in this situation. And that just was not allowing me to get any out right there. And that was the biggest thing because I, if I would have been able to get the out, I would have been out of the inning. And now he has a chance to take the lead, actually walk it off here with the home run from Troy Tulowitzki. I went ahead and brought in uh, Silver Rob Nen, who is one of my guys that I went to in the bullpen quite often. Him along with Darren O'Day and Steve Ciszek. But I don't know what he was doing right here. He had a chance to win the game, and he decided to run himself right out of the inning. And that that's how the game ended right there. Third inning, three outs, and uh, we win 2-1. to one. So that was kind of a crazy way to end it. The guy had a chance to walk it off and uh, ruin the 12-0 Battle Royale run right there at seven wins. But that does put us up to eight. So we'll go ahead and get right into the next game and try to see if we can get a 12-win uh, a reward revealed. So this is going for that Josh Donaldson. This opponent has a pretty good squad. Jose Reyes, Reese Hoskins, Jason Kipnis, Frank Thomas, Eduardo Escobar, that Silver Jay Buhner, Tucker Barnhart, and Alberto Omara Jr. So definitely a good squad all around. A lot of overall good players. Maybe not the best power rating, but at the same time, definitely a solid lineup with all silvers and, and diamonds and golds and such. But there on a two outs already in the innings, he throws a fastball up and away, and I hit it out to right field with Steven Vogt. That card was pretty good for me. I moved him up in the lineup specifically for this game, and he delivered in the exact spot that I put him in, which was right behind Miguel Cabrera. The opponent went ahead and walked somebody earlier, and I made him pay for that. Later on in the game, I'm trying to uh, expand the... Expand the lead a little bit. He makes a heck of a play, a diving effort there from his third baseman to, to get that guy out. And that kind of changes the inning because I would have been able to uh, have another runner on base for this exact hit that I thought I popped up. But Tyler O'Neill is sending that one out. He went ahead and dove instead of pressing L or R1 and tried to jump up to rob it. 
he tried to make a diving catch and uh, his fielder didn't respond too well. But then very next pitch, Christian Yelich is hitting that one out off of uh, Peter Moylan. I'm not really sure what happened with that clip, but somehow the ball is in the middle of the air and the opponent rage quit. I, uh, I don't really know what happened right there. kind of glitched out, but we did get the ninth win and uh, move up to try to reveal that 12-win diamond. And it is going to be Koji Uihara, the relief pitcher, who is an amazing card. We're going up against Clutch Craig, who has Fred McGriff, Mike Schmidt, Eric Games, Raul Mondesi, Ryan Braun, and Jared Saltalamacchia, along with uh, Roberto Almara Jr., as well as Yohan Moncada. So definitely a, another good lineup to go up against here. And uh, there I was able to, with two outs in the inning once again, Carlos Gomez is hitting a no-doubter. I love that no-doubter animation from Carlos Gomez. Sends it out into left field. I barreled that one up even though the pitch was slightly below the zone. I had good timing on it. And later on in the game, Miguel Cabrera is sending one now. I, I noticed that the runners were taken off and there was only one out in the inning. So I knew it was going to be a home run. But uh, move up. To four nothing in this one, bottom of the third inning with one out remaining, and the opponent he responds with a solo shot. That's going to be a, a no doubter from uh, Ryan Raber, and there's no way I was even going to get to get out there to it in order for a chance to rob the ball. But anyway, I am able to get the win there. Mike Schmidt pops up to the first baseman, he makes the play, and now we are going for the tenth win right here. Actually, this is win number eleven. Going up against King Shaq, against, uh, he's got Garrett Hampson, Justin Turner, Kendrys Morales, Paul DeYoung, Matt Joyce. So definitely a, a different tier team. He probably has a diamond in the uh, in the bullpen at some somewhere, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure who it is at this point. But the, I know the wind is blowing in in this game, eight miles an hour. So, and that's the last thing I want to happen is for him to get a speed guy on base. And uh, there I went with the curveball, or I, actually it was a slider away to Justin Turner who has the breaking ball quirk. It was a really dangerous pitch and he was uh, also stealing in that at bat. So I was able to keep him from stealing and getting to second base and advancing to third there. I think he would have been able to advance to third on that sack fly if the same thing happened. But I was able to get out of the inning unscathed and now I'm trying to look to get some guys on early and score a couple runs here. I did go ahead and steal second and third because he brought in Zach Britton at the bullpen and he has a really slow leg kick and a really slow delivery to home plate so I went I took advantage of it and stole second and third twice actually and then uh, I may try to manufacture a run here with the sack fly and even though the wind was blowing in eight miles an hour that ball was still sent off the wall I thought he was gonna be able to make the catch so I didn't want to uh, send my runner I, I don't think I would have been able to get the third there with Miggy anyway so I kept him at second and then just an unfortunate swing of events I went and pinch I pinch ran for somebody. I pinch ran for Miguel Cabrera with somebody who had 86 speed, and then I lined out. I lined out to the shortstop, and I was unable to score him. But later on in the game, I did have a second and third situation with one out, and Tyler O'Neill is sending one into the gap. And I don't know what happened there with my base runners. I pressed L1 as soon as he hit it. I thought that ball was down. I was willing to give up the double play in that situation, but there I was able to get the strikeout facing Kendris Morales, get the 11th win. And now we are going for a 12-0 run with that Koji Uihara as the 12-win diamond. I'm looking to try and get this 12-0 run and try and get that Louis T on. I'd really be down to get that card back on my team. I tried him out earlier in the season. I actually paid 1 million stubs for him with the accumulation of a bunch of stubs that I had won through events and BR. But uh, here we go. We're going for a 12-0. I think this, is, this will be the second 12-0 battle royale. I've gone 12-1 and 1 a few times, but I, I, I did go 12-0 and 0 in my first free run. And then if I'm able to finish off MLB The Show 18 with the 12-0 and 0 run, it will be awesome. A great way to end it. But he's got a great team there. Eddie Matthews, Sean Green, Trey Turner, uh, Miguel Montero, Matt Olson. Definitely some guys with some pop. And now i got to face Eddie Matthews. Very first pitch of the game I throw is sent out for a no-doubt home run. What else is new? A leadoff homer. I'm usually down a run in a regular ranked seasons game so i know i have to score anyway at this point i'm thinking all right as long as i can get a couple outs here and don't get down by too many runs i have a chance to come back if i don't score then i don't deserve to win the game anyway but a three and two count he actually threw a couple balls outside of the zone that i fouled off and i swung at ball four a few times there i was able to lay off of i think it was like the third one in a row that he threw outside the zone i laid off of it for ball four he brought in trevor hoffman I'm doing a hit and run right there, and it pay, paid off for me big time because I was able to go first to third. I hit the ball through the right side there, through the four hole, 
and uh, I was able to steal second base with Yelich. He didn't walk Carlos Gomez, and I delivered with the base hit up the middle. That's going to score two runs and take the lead there in a crucial game to try and get this 12-0 win. I figured that this opponent was a pretty good player. He went ahead and walked Steven Vogt after I was able to get the guy to third base, and then I hit him to a double play. So definitely could come back to haunt me in this one. If I'm not able to uh, keep him off the board, there was a huge at-bat. There was a huge out facing Reese Hoskins with the common Donnie Hart. I went to him out of the bullpen because he had a pretty good amount of lefties, and I figured that Reese Hoskins has a, a lower attribute versus left-handed pitching, so I went with him and it paid off for me. But uh, now to the last out with Eddie Matthews. I hit into another double play in the bottom of the second inning, but I figured I would kind of skip ahead to the most crucial at-bat of the entire run. There was a dot of a slider right on the inside corner, but uh, down to his last strike, one pitch away from a 12-0 flawless run. I figured I would let Darren O'Day come set through a slider just in on, on the hands there. If the opponent does somehow tie it up, at least I'm the home team in this 11-0 game, so that way I will have a chance to walk it off if it does go extra innings. But I am able to get the strike out there with the slider on the inside corner. What a huge pitch and what a way to end it right there. Let's go ahead and see who this 12-0 Diamond Battle Royale Flawless Reward is. Hopefully it's that Louis Tion. I'd be down for that Ichiro Suzuki as well because he is my favorite player of all time. But 12-0 uh, for the second time, if I'm not mistaken. And I got 12-1 and a few times in BR, but it is that Joe Morgan along with the Koji Uehara and the Josh Donaldson. What a great way to end MLB The Show 18 when it comes to content. I can't believe how many uh, diamonds I was able to win this year and kind of sell my team or sell those rewards and unlock all the immortals that way. Just an absolutely insane year of MLB The Show and I look forward to what MLB The Show 19 brings. I'm incredibly excited and hopefully you guys are along for the journey as well. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'm College Lefty and have a great night. Peace.